Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for the invitation, and I'm very pleased to, to be here. So uh, what I would like to, to talk about in this, uh, well, when I was asked to, uh, to give a talk in, the, in this conference, I was a little bit uh, confused about what to say, uh, because I've worked in different areas, but not necessarily directly connected to uh, uh, most of the topics of interest of, of this audience. And so I thought it would be interesting maybe to, uh, to uh, talk about some view uh, on a natural system, in, in this case that's a bad on a natural system, as some form of, um, I would say, natural lab for signal processing techniques. So I will not be very technical, I will not be technical at all, in fact, as far as signal processing concerned, even it's my field, but I would try rather to focus on the idea that there will be an intertwining between a natural system, which is given by nature, like the bad sonar system, and ideas coming from signal processing, communication theory, and, uh, and mathematics, which goes along. Okay. And so I will present results that uh, are related to studies we did um, somehow a long time ago, but also uh, the, uh, the general idea, I think, is, is already is, uh, still uh, current. So uh, the, the topic is about bats, so you know, I guess, that you have seen them, some of them, uh, and that is a typical uh, example of what we call an animal sonar system. That did not the only one. You have also dolphins and even some rats which are using this system. And this, uh, the story started with a basic observation, which was done by Spallanzani yeah, some long time ago, and he made some very uh, cruel experiments, in fact, for uh, ascertaining the fact that uh, bats are navigating without vision. And so one way of doing that is, for instance, to just to remove the eyes and to see that uh, bats still can uh, fly and hunt and do things like this. And there was some assumption that there should exist a system, and a system would be a way of sensing the environment, which is not directly the human way of sensing the environment by vision, and uh, this will be called uh, later uh, echolocation. Okay, echolocation. So the idea of echolocation is very simple. It just amounts to uh, imagine that the animal is uh, emitting a sound, so that's an active system, and when the sound is arriving at the target, then there is a reflection, and then the sound bounces back, and is reflected and come back to the ears of the animal in some way there should be some processing 